guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm back with another, I guess, I don't wanna say episode, another video in my Best of Beauty series. If you guys haven't checked out the video that I posted yesterday, I will link it for you guys down below. I talked all about my favorite primers and setting sprays for oily skin. So girl, if you are oily, be sure to check out that video. I'll go ahead and say you're welcome now. I will have it linked for you guys down below. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top favorite foundations and concealers from 2017. I am definitely a face junkie. I'm all about foundations, all about concealers, all about complexion products. So it was very hard for me to narrow this down and I still have quite a bit of products that I wanna share with you guys. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this intro because I have a lot of items to get through. If you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below so you can join my fam here on YouTube and I would love to have you. And also to be sure that you click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you enjoy this video or if you enjoy just hearing about products that are great for oily skin, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And I think that's all that I have to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and jump into the products. All right, so first up, I'm going to start off with drugstore products in the foundation category. Then I'll do high-end foundations, then drugstore concealers, then high-end concealers. So starting off with the drugstore, I had to go ahead and mention the L'Oreal Infallible line. Um, this year they came out with the Pro Glow. I think it was this year. I'm pretty sure. They came out with the Pro Glow foundation and the Pro Matte was already out and I was already a huge fan. I have the Pro Matte in the shade Classic Tan and the Pro Glow also in the shade Classic Tan. Now I don't necessarily love using the Pro Glow by itself, but the two of these mixed together, a dream. And this one by itself is bomb if you want like a really matte finish to your foundation and you want something that is going to last you all day and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money and you have oily skin, I would highly recommend the Pro Matte uh, foundation from this line. But they did come out with this one, like I said, this year and the two of these mixed together give you a really nice satin matte finish, I guess would be a good way to describe it. It's not too glowy or too oily or too matte. It's like a nice right in the middle. The next foundation is another one that came out this year and it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I have to go ahead and say Wet n Wild did that with this foundation. I believe this foundation retails for $4.99 and they killed it for what you're getting for the price. You get one fluid ounce, which is right on par with pretty much all foundations. And this foundation is bomb, you guys. I remember the very first time that I wore it, I was legit in shock because I could not believe how flawless my skin looked and the fact that they had a shade that matched my complexion and they also have a couple other shades deeper than my complexion. They really did a great job with this foundation. Highly recommend. Now, I would say that, um, and I mine is in the shade Coco, by the way. I would say with this foundation, you wanna be sure that you use a really good primer and that you set it really well if you have oily skin. Um, but besides that, a little goes a long way with this and it is completely worth the $5. Next up is another foundation that actually recently launched here towards the second half of the year. And it is the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. Now, one con that I will say about this foundation, which if you could get past it, you will absolutely love this product, is that it smells very um, like clay, I think would be a good description of this foundation. Um, but once you apply it to your skin and you apply all your other products and you go about your day, you can't really smell it. But it does have a very strong clay-like scent. It's kind of potent, I'll be honest. Um, but like I said, if you can get past that, this is a $6 foundation and it is bomb. I have mine in the shade Warm Caramel. And let me know down below if you guys, I was thinking about doing like a wear test on this. I know it came out a couple weeks ago, so I was kind of like, eh. But let me know down below if you would be interested in still seeing me do a wear test and a full review on this foundation. But I do think for the price, it is a really great foundation. It's very pigmented. 
and it is very, very matte. All right, so next up, let's go into my high-end foundations, and I have to start with the Fenty Beauty Foundation by Rihanna. As you can see, I am still keeping mine in the box and will forever keep it in the box, but I do have this foundation on my skin right now, and I mean, what is there to really say about this foundation? Like, I don't even feel like I have to spend a lot of time on this because she killed it point blank period but it is a great foundation the packaging is bomb she killed it with the shade range like that's really the main thing like she killed it with the shade range but the product is also really great as well and i wear mine in the shade 370. all right so next up a foundation that i was reaching for kind of more so like the first half of the year is the becca ever matte shine proof foundation i was literally using this foundation almost every single day i was in love with it I had mine in the shade, or have mine in the shade Tobacco. This one is pretty much almost completely empty, um, but I really do like this foundation for controlling oil on my skin. This is definitely one if you don't mind spending a couple extra dollars, if you want a foundation that is going to really last, like really last, I would highly recommend this. And this foundation, along with their Shine Proof uh, Primer, their Oil Controlling Primer, girl, you're going to be locked and loaded if you have oily skin. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this if you have dry skin. Normal or combo, you may be able to get away with it, but it's definitely going to be a foundation that is going to help to control your oil throughout the day. So speaking of long wear foundations, I have two more high-end foundations that I want to mention. I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and the Lancome Tint Edol Ultra Wear Foundation. Now I know the Estee Lauder foundation has been around for forever, but the reason that I'm mentioning it is because I, when I first bought this foundation, I didn't like it. And I really wanted to love it because everybody I feel like loves this foundation that has oily skin, but I just found it to be cakey and I just didn't really love the foundation so I just kind of left it alone for a while and then I came back to it and now I love it I don't know what it was about this year maybe my skin kind of changed a little bit or maybe my technique of applying foundation may have changed a little bit but I absolutely love this foundation now this is definitely one that is going to be literally like it says on here double wear stay in place makeup and they are not playing so I have mine in the shade 5w bronze and if you're looking for something that is legit going to stay in place, this is what you need to get your hands on. And their shade range on this is bomb. Also, they have like so many different shades that you can choose from. Same with the Lancome Tint Edol Foundation. I actually picked this one up after watching Jackie Ina talk about it. She raves about this foundation, so you guys know I had to go ahead and get my hands on it. I have mine in the shade 450 Suede Neutral. And I really love this foundation. I will wear this. This is one of those foundations you could literally wear anytime. Like I will wear this daytime, nighttime, every day, you know, lightweight. Like if I just wanna do a lightweight makeup look, I'll just do a little bit of this. If I wanna do a full beat, I'll do a little bit extra of this. Um, it's really a very versatile foundation. But of course, being someone that has oily skin, the thing that I love about it is that it is long wearing, it's lightweight on the skin, it doesn't clog my pores, it applies flawlessly, it's a beautiful foundation. And like I said before, the shade range is bomb. All right guys, so now that we have all the foundations out of the way, I wanna go ahead and talk about a couple of concealers that I have been loving for 2017. I don't have quite as many concealers as I did foundations that I wanna talk about, so I'm gonna kinda try to get through these a little bit quickly because I'm looking at my little um, timer on my computer and I've already been recording for a nice little bit of time so let me go ahead and just jump right into these concealers so I only have one um, drugstore concealer that I want to mention and it is the wet and wild what is this called wet and wild photo focus concealer so this concealer actually came out when the foundation came out and they are a match made in heaven this concealer in my opinion is a dupe to another concealer that I'm going to mention to you guys in just a second but this concealer is really 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 good for a drugstore foundation you guys or for a drugstore concealer um i think this retails somewhere in between three and five dollars i think um very inexpensive you guys know wet and wild is very inexpensive and i have mine in the shade medium tawny to highlight and 
Um, medium deep tan if I just want to like conceal or just like, you know, cover up some blemishes on my skin or whatever. Um, those are the shades that I have. They're cruelty free, they're inexpensive, and these have bomb coverage and they blend out to perfection. So absolutely love these. And then the rest of the ones I want to mention are going to be high end or on the high end side concealers. So first up, I want to mention the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. I think these came out at the beginning of this year. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's when these came out. Um, this year I feel like a lot of complexion products came out, which I am not mad at because I'm all about that life. Um, but I love these concealers. The thing that I really love about these is that they're lightweight and almost feel like moisturizing on the skin. Um, but they still have really great coverage and last all day they don't crease under my eyes pretty much all of these concealers I'm mentioning to you I don't have any issue with them creasing underneath my eyes um, but this one I specifically love because although my face is oily under my eyes tends to be a little bit dry I don't know maybe some of you guys have that issue as well and this concealer I really like because when my under eyes are really really dry I'll reach for this and it's a really great everyday concealer and it doesn't like dry out my under eye if that makes sense and also does not crease so really love that one and then next up I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer which obviously this is another concealer that I feel like does not need an explanation everybody has been talking about Tarte Shape Tape all 2017 since it hit the shelves and for good reason this concealer is bomb it's full coverage like full 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 coverage and I mean it's just a really great concealer it doesn't crease it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it blends out to perfection it sets to perfection I'm wearing it underneath my eyes today as you guys can see like it is just flawless flawless so out of any of these concealers if you don't mind spending a couple extra dollars the Tarte Shape Tape if you have not tried it you need it in your life and you need to try it so just accept it pick it up try it out you will love it you will not regret it people are talking about this for a reason and i will definitely continue to repurchase it because it is that good and then last but not least i have my mac pro longwear concealers and i have these in the shades nc42 and nc45 these concealers have literally been around for forever but i had to mention them because i kind of stepped away from using them this year because so many complexion products came out like i said but every time I go back to this, like when I pull out my concealer drawer and I see this and I'm like, oh, let me try it. I haven't worn it in a while. I fall right back in love with this concealer. It's just a really good concealer. It provides really great coverage. It's really lightweight and it does not crease and it looks flawless underneath the eyes. Like if you have texture, if you have large pores, if you have fine lines, this is a really great concealer because it just smooths all of that out it does not crease and it lasts all day long so I had to give this one a shout out just real quick I know it's not anything new for 2017 but I had to give it a little shout out because it deserves it it stood the test of time and it continues to be a bomb concealer that I always go back to all right guys so that is going to bring us to the end of this video for my favorite foundations and concealers for 2017 this one is probably, possibly going to be the longer of the videos that I'll be posting this week just because I'm such a complexion junkie, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So this was a lot to share, but I have so many more products that I could have shared in this video and I just really had to condense it down and just share the products that I have continued to reach for over and over and over again in 2017. So. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. All my oily skin girls out there, I hope that you guys found some new products that you can try out to help control those oils, girl, because I know the struggle. And yeah, if there are any products that I left out that you guys love and think that I would absolutely love as well, feel free to leave those for me down below in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up if you loved it, if you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, if you found out some new products, please give me a big thumbs up. I will list and link all of the products that I mentioned in the video down below in the description bar. And yeah, that's pretty much all that I have. So thanks again so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.